All right, folks, Tonto Bob here. To where the air comes in, this crew around there. I just stuck. So, Ben. What have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. Alright guys, today should be a good successful test run. If everything goes right, I'm using my new blower, which I have in a, which I made um, out of a shop vac. I have a video on how to do that. I'm going to be using um, wood pellets I bought from Real King today. They're nice and dry, so hopefully that, uh, hopefully the they'll work. I'm trying to make the best conditions possible and I'm going to be lighting it with the biochar that's already in there from last test run. Um, that shop vac motor is actually so powerful that when I turn it on um, it like dents in the side of my uh, barrel a little bit. Not not seeable but you can hear it go boom or whatever. Um, so I've tried to reduce the uh, power of it by using an insane amount of extension cord. It's not going to reduce it a lot, but it'll reduce it a little bit. I might have to put some like light bulbs in a series before it or something like that if I want to get down to the good power. But enough bull crap. I'll get to you once it's uh, started up and lit. Uh, you've seen it all before, so I'm not going to explain too much. Just going to try to get some burnable gas. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So I think we're experiencing a thermonuclear meltdown here. Um, my barrel's getting dark, my blower's spinning out far, and the gas goes light. Alright guys, so it's been about 10 minutes since I uh, killed the power to the blower. Um, all this water is on the ground here because I tried to scrub up that tar that I that leaked out so it won't stay in my driveway, but it didn't work too well, so I think it might just have to just have to be stains there. Um, and uh, everything worked out great. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, except for the amount of tar that was produced, but I have a theory about that. I think it was those... Um, those wood pellets I was using, they kind of smelled like pine when I opened the bag. Probably why the whole bag of 40 wood or 40 pounds of wood pellets only cost me like four bucks when like 10 pound bags of other wood pellets I saw sitting around it cost like five. So I guess that's my fault for cheaping out on the wood pellets. So what do I need to do before next video? Well, obviously I need to make my blower less powerful in some way. Uh, I need to finish all these ends and everything. Need to seal them up in a better way than just tape and plastic. Need to seal up my gaskets and I need to um, build a few filters on there, hopefully. 
And I probably won't be using those wood pellets again because just for a 10 minute test run like that, that's way too much tar to be coming out of there. And it, it honestly does smell a little bit like pine tar, so kind of skeptical about that. But uh, as you can see, burned the wood, um, held a steady flame. Uh, I'm going to call it a success for now. Now that I got a success under my belt, I can start to, or a successful test run under my belt. I can start uh, focusing on like the finer details of this thing. So I guess uh, if you want to see how I built that blower, it's not too hard. Uh, I got a video on it that I posted earlier today. Um, just took an old chop back and built a, used the motor and built a blower out of it. So uh, not too big of a deal. Um, so as always, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, got any suggestions, put them in the comments below and everything. And thanks for watching.